Now for the next report in our series on mounting concerns in the United States over nuclear safety. Japan's disaster has reminded many Americans of the country's Three Mile Island accident 32 years ago. People gathered in front of the plant last week for the anniversary of the event. They say nuclear power plants can never be safe. They also paid respects to quake victims in Japan. During the 1979 accident, radioactive gases leaked from the plant, forcing more than 140,000 residents to leave their homes. Since then, the construction of new nuclear plants had been suspended until recently. Today, nearly 30 nuclear power stations are under construction. But in the wake of the Fukushima crisis, more people are saying no to the construction projects. NHK World's David Savino has more. Trouble is brewing over construction of the first new nuclear plant in the U.S. in over 15 years. The Unit 2 project at Watts Bar Station resumed four years ago after a two-decade suspension. The operators, the Tennessee Valley Authority, hope to get the plant online next year. But then it incorporates the Nuclear Regulatory Commission so has held numerous hearings on the issue. In one, after the Fukushima crisis, TVA made its case for government approval. We're just driving diligently to make sure the plan is as safe as it can be made from a, not only a fire protection standpoint, but all other aspects of plant operation. But the Fukushima accident made residents refocus on a decades-old problem at the plant's Unit 1 facility. Ann Harris used to work for the TVA. In 1988, she filed one of many complaints against the company for falsifying reports and lying about inspections and repairs. She says to this day, the company lacks transparency. They've had so many accidents down there. They don't call them accidents. They call them unplanned events. The industry's going to put on their PR stunts, their media tours, their uh, snake oil uh, caravans. Um, but I don't, I don't think the American people is going to buy this in, any longer. The cap is bolted on the bottom of At a town meeting, pounds, locals met Chernobyl with people who had been exposed to radiation leaks during the Chernobyl catastrophe. The, uh, the Fukushima crisis is the final warning to us all. How easy it is for these systems to fail, I'm a lot more frightened. I'm looking at uh, moving to another area, as a matter of fact, that is, uh, I, I've lived under the shadow of nuclear plants. The TVA is reacting to the mounting pressure of hostile public opinion. This is a uh, command center that we've set up as a result of the ongoing events uh, with the Japanese earthquakes. So the utility company says it is analyzing every development in Japan. It's also reviewing its own safety measures. It says before Unit 2 begins operating, it's important to allay residents' concerns. We are very, very interested as an industry as to exactly what has transpired there. Uh, we do know that it's a very serious event. I think it's incumbent on us as the uh, people that provide that uh, resource to them to try and do our best to explain what's happened, what's the significance of it, try and be as open and as honest as you can. President Obama has reaffirmed his support for more nuclear power as a clean source of energy. But following the disaster at Fukushima, the question many Americans are asking themselves is whether they can really trust the government and the nuclear power industry. David Savino, NHK World.